We came at last to what is known as the North Sentinel Island. Although some expeditions had landed here, the Sentinelese had never been sighted. We left gifts of coconuts, knives, lengths of cloth, a pig, products of the plastic age. We withdrew and waited, but no one came. We stayed wide awake, for the sleeping hand fashions no pictures, the tired eye sees no clarity. What are those moving shapes? Are they human? At last, the first glimpse of the Sentinelese. Is this a first step towards understanding a tribe never before seen by outside eyes? This tribe believes in total isolation. It will not tolerate a stranger. We were prevented from approaching the shore. In his dream, the hunter's triumphant spear gouges the eye of the moon, and when he wakes, the victim is his love. A member of our film unit was wounded by one of the many arrows, each two and a half meters long. He will carry this scar till his death. But has this experience helped us to understand the nature of primitive man, or of modern man? The Sentinelese don't want to have anything to do with us. Are they right? Is the Stone Age preferable to the nuclear age? These ineffective arrows and spears, do they not convey some message from the past which intellectual man has perhaps forgotten? sky and there is man. We have begun to understand the nature of the moon and of Mars and other planets. But have we begun to understand our own impulses? This is a story with a lot of mystery and in many ways our expedition has failed. Only succeeding generations may find the answer we seek. Until then, perhaps we have no choice but to leave it all to the islands, the oceans, and the currents of time.